Okay, guys, it's time to do some binary division. Now, in this particular case, we're going to be bringing those skills back from primary school once again, and we're going to be doing some long division. So what I mean by that is we're going to be going through and checking this number against the larger number, okay, and subtracting as we go. The final answer will come up here, and we should sometimes have a remainder which will add on to the end here. So first of all, I'm going to check if this number fits under the first binary digit. In this particular case, one zero does not fit under that. So as soon as you say the word no, put a zero at the top. Let's grab the next number as well, okay? One zero does fit under one zero. So put a one at the top and perform a subtraction, okay? Now the answer to this one is gonna be pretty darn straightforward, but I am going to do a proper subtraction just to show you guys that when you get to harder questions, how to get through the really tough parts, okay? So flip the bottom number to your ones complement, add on one to get your twos complement, which is zero and one, add your top number back on. Okay, and the zero, one plus one is zero, get a carry and you destroy the carry. Now, if you don't know how to do that, go back and watch the second video, binary subtraction, and that'll teach you how to do it. We put the answer down here and then we move on. Okay, we get the next binary bit, but this is no longer our working number. This is now our working number. So what I do is I bring him down to join his friends, okay? Does one zero fit under zero zero one? No, it doesn't, okay? And we get that last number, bring him down to join his friends. Does he fit? So one one, does that fit? Yes, it does, perform a subtraction. Let's do it the long way again. Sorry guys, I know some of you probably hate me for doing this. Okay, add the top number back on, so that is one. One plus one is zero, get a carry, destroy the carry, and that's our answer down there. Now, this is actually our answer, and this is our remainder if we're left with anything. The way I know I'm done is this squiggly line is at the end of all our binary bits here. So this is our answer, remainder one. If you don't believe me, let's do a quick check. Put our binary values up here. So this number is two. Okay, we're dividing by two. This number is eight. 2 and 1, which is 11. So 11 divided by 2 is 5, remainder 1. If you look at this, 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, but that's how you do it, guys. Let's do a moderately harder question here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is check this one against 1, which is not big enough. The next number is not big enough. The next number, 110, is still not big enough. And then we get the fourth number, and yes, this one's big enough to take on this number. So one, zero, one. And this is why I do a long subtraction. I do actually perform the subtraction most of the time because you get up to these kind of questions. So our subtraction, make them the same length. Do your ones complement. Add on the one to get two's complement. Add on the top number. And then perform your addition. So zero, carry the one, zero, carry the one, that's a one, zero, carry the one, and get rid of him. Okay, so our answer to this is zero. Whoop, I said yes before, so I need to put a one. One, zero, zero. Okay, sorry about that, guys. As soon as you perform a subtraction, put a one and don't do what I did. Whoops. Okie doke. So let's grab the next number, bring him down to join his friends. Is this number big enough for this number? Yes. Put it up there. And let's perform a subtraction. Why did I put that dash there? There we go. Okay, so I'm going to move over here for a second. There we go. One, zero, zero, one, minus one, zero, one. Now you'll notice this is the exact same subtraction as this one over here. So I'm just going to grab this answer now because I've already got the answer. All right, so I can get rid of this one. No point in doing it again, we already have the answer to that one. Okay, let's grab the next number and bring him right down to join his friends at the bottom. Can this number fit to this one? Yes. Let's perform another subtraction, and this is a different number this time. So let's actually do the subtraction this time. One, zero, one. So make them the same length. One's complement, add on the one. Get some twos complement going. Add the top number back on. We get one, one, zero, zero. Carry the one, get rid of him. 
Okay, so this is our answer to the subtraction, one, one, zero, zero. Now we've run out of numbers at the top here, so this is now a remainder of one, one. And that's division, guys. So you actually have to do the long division and perform your subtraction as you go along. So hopefully that makes sense, and I'll see you later on. Thanks, guys.